Welcome back to Bangkok, where the city's largest building, the Mahanakan Tower, rises 50 stories over Silom. Occupying several floors of this building is the standard hotel. Hey, this is JR, AKA The Tourist. Join me and I'll take you inside and show you the rooms and the pool. And I'll take you up top to show you one of the hotel's hidden benefits. I'll give you my thoughts on whether this is the right Bangkok hotel for you and give you a couple of tips on how to maximize your stay. Let's go inside and get started. You enter the standard on the ground floor, where there is a bell desk, a gift shop, and a sitting area. From there, you take the elevator to reception on the fourth floor. I'm always suspect when hotels lean heavy into the hip and ultra designy aesthetic. My tastes tilt toward the traditional. That said, there's a sameness that pervades the design of luxury hotel these days. When done at the highest levels, this aesthetic looks great. But when hotels at the lower end of the luxury spectrum attempt this look, the result is often quite fake. Too many hotels have turned themselves into cheap looking social media backgrounds. The standard is not one of those. I booked a standard king room, which is one step above the entry-level room category. At check-in, I was given several vouchers good at the hotel's food and beverage venues. Stay tuned to see those. For now, let's go and have a look at the room. The standard is definitely designy and has likely been the setting for numerous TikTok videos, but its updated mid-century modern look is at least a little bit original and sometimes originality is enough. Welcome to room 1804. As you enter, you see what may be the room's best feature. The floor-to-ceiling windows letting in lots of natural light during the day and highlighting central Bangkok skyline at night. The room is not especially spacious, but the layout makes sense, with the closet and the bathroom tucked back by the door. This charming banquette doubles as a sofa and a table slash desk. If you enjoy getting a glimpse inside interesting and sometimes charming hotels, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post a new video every week, and I'm just getting started. Hotel impressions, destination guides, and more. Join me, and we'll tour the world together. The mini bar is in this stylish built-in. It's well-stocked and includes an espresso machine and complimentary pods. The room safe is also in one of the drawers, something I'm not sure I've seen before. The bathroom gets no natural light and can feel a bit dim, but there is plenty of space. The bathroom has a utilitarian feel about it, but that goes with the mid-century modern theme. Those looking for a certain kind of luxury may find the standard to be too much on the Spartan side of things. There is a fancy Japanese toilet though, which always gets high marks from me.
Here's the closet, which is in a very simple configuration. The inclusion of this bench is nice as it lets you get your bags out of the way. Now that you've seen the room, let's go see the pool and then check out the hotel's food and beverage options. The pool is another area where the standards aesthetics come through. The first two standards were opened in Los Angeles, one in an old motel that had become a retirement home and the other in a former corporate headquarters dating back to the 1950s. The standard brand is based solidly in mid 20th century aesthetics, calling back to an era of unlimited prospects, especially so on the west coast of the United States. The brand's first foray into Thailand is the standard Hua Hin, which I also visited during this trip. The standard's pool serves up light dishes, soft drinks, and cocktails from this kiosk. It wasn't open at the hour I shot this footage. The Bangkok Mahanakon standard opened its doors in 2022 to quite a bit of fanfare within the travel industry. As I alluded to earlier, this is likely because the hotel stands out in Bangkok's luxury market. In the gym, you can see the hotel's recent opening date in the newness and novelty of the equipment. Peloton, Techno Gym, a sprint treadmill, you'll find it all here. Leaving the sixth floor, let's get into some of what makes the standard a really special hotel. In a city full of great food and great nightlife, it's home to some of the best, although of the decidedly chic variety. At check-in, I was given a few vouchers, so I decided to make a night out of it. I'll bring you along for the trip. We'll start on the second floor at Mott 32, the Cantonese fine dining brand that has its roots in Hong Kong. This would be a great spot for a memorable dinner, but I only had drinks. Our next stop is two floors up at the parlor, a casual spot serving both Thai and international dishes and offering a nice cocktail menu. Off to the side of the parlor is Teas, which serves a rather eccentric looking tea service. I took my drinks outside on the large balcony area. One floor up from the parlor is Double Standard and the Standard Grill. We'll see those tomorrow morning at breakfast, but for now, our next step is much higher. To get to it, we'll have to go down first. At the top of the Mahanakon Tower is Bangkok's highest roof bar, Skywalk, which doubles as a tourist attraction during the day. Guests of the standard get a free ticket up. The final bit of the way up can be traversed by elevator or this staircase that winds around the elevator bank. I'll use this time to give you the tourist do's and don'ts of the standard Bangkok. Do stay at the Bangkok if you appreciate out of the ordinary design elements, if you want to be in Bangkok's central business district and or close to the river, or if you want to experience Bangkok nightlife outside of Lower Sukhumvit. On the other hand, if you're one of the many people who come to Bangkok looking for Thai-inspired design and tranquil spaces, and who wish to be close to the major tourist attractions, then the standard may not be the hotel for you. Since we've reached the top, let's take a quick look at Skywalk before calling it a night. The hotel breakfast is as good a place as any to end this look inside the standard Bangkok. I took my breakfast at Double Standard. I believe the parlor also serves breakfast. Breakfast here is an all-you-can-eat a la carte menu, effectively a buffet with nicer plating. Everything I tried was quite good. Just behind Double Standard is the Standard Grill, serving standard steakhouse fare, though with a beefed up menu offering seafood and pasta and more. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.
Stay tuned for future hotel impressions and more.